We're going to spend a bit of this show today to talk about the huge potential in Brazil. My next guests are big gamers, so to speak. They started a company called Vastu, which has become known as the Zynga of Brazil. The company makes a profit, and its board is made up of some Silicon Valley heavyweights like Jim Breyer of Excel Partners and Facebook. Well, joining me now are the Vastu co-founders, Josh Kushner and Daniel Caffey. Another success story coming out of Harvard Business School, right? Yeah. Started in your dorm room in 2007, and now look at this company. Yeah. So we started the company. Uh, I was a junior in college. Dan and Mario were uh, second years at Harvard Business School. Uh, in the last four years, we've grown into one of the largest internet companies in Latin America. So. And you make pro you make a profit. Yeah, we're, we're highly profitable. Uh, social gaming, the model in itself, is a very profitable model. We sell virtual currency. Um, Right. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so now that you're, what, three and a half years or so, you know, out in this company, what is the next step then? For Boss too. Yeah, I think the next step is really expanding into other platforms as much as possible, whether it's mobile or other forms of media, and just continuing to be a big brand in the country, really. I mean, Brazil's booming, and we, we're happy to be one of the biggest entertainment brands in the country. You have 25%, right, of the Brazilian, inter like, users, online users yes. on, your, on your website. Yep. So about 50% of the Brazilian internet population are registered users, but about 25% okay. are active users of our product. Okay, so how, how do you want to grow that, then? Like, what's the target in well, Brazil? Well, you know, the Brazilian online population is growing so fast. It's already the fifth largest internet population in the world. And the idea there is we're growing also with the market. And so as the internet population there grows, we grow with them, which is a really great situation to be in. And the Latin American internet population is also growing. And so we do see the rest of Latin America is also a huge growth opportunity. So where would be the next obvious markets? You know, Mexico, Colombia, Argentina are huge markets as well. Uh, they're okay. not as big as Brazil, but they're also growing just as fast. Okay. And uh, the region entirely has like about 100 million internet users. China? Because, you know, Ren Ren came out with their IPO last week and part of their success is gaming. I mean, what about China? I, I do, we do see ourselves as a local player and we built an amazing um, service for the Brazilian market. And so we do see ourselves as building local products. Um, China's a little bit of a stretch from where we are right now, but okay. you know, we do see Latin America as a great region to be in. But is China a stretch partly because it is so difficult for foreign operators to break into that market? Is that what it is as well? well in, ge in general, you know, the markets are different in terms of their interest, you know, the game mechanics, what they look, what gets them excited from one market to the other might be different. Payment methods are different, so it's just a different ball game from one market to another. Uh, you raised 50 million, right, for this company? Yes. Um, you haven't spent all that money. So where would you spend that money, the rest of it? How much have you spent and where would you spend the rest? <laughs> so we don't disclose those numbers. I mean, we're highly profitable, so we've raised capital for growth purposes. Um, we've mostly spent it to date on marketing our products and uh, just growing our, uh, our user base. We just want to be bigger and better, and we're starting to think about ways in which we could be a bigger player. Uh, Are you going to spend part of that money in security? Because, as you know, you know, with Sony made all these headlines in the last several weeks about their online gaming operations and how they've been hacked. So how does that, you know, are you going to spend part of that money into, into security? You know, one of the great things about social gaming is that you do run these games on social networks that are very secure environments, especially if you think about Facebook or get any of these big social networks. Yeah. And so security is less of a concern for us. That being said, we do spend heavily on making sure that our servers, especially our payment servers, are very secure for our users. So every transaction is very secure and, okay. and there's a, a, you know, very big focus so on that. So it's different then, different from what Sony's doing. Yeah. Right, well, you're, you're writing on someone else's platform as well with okay. these games. And so, you know, you don't fully control 100% of the security. But w when we control it, it's very much under control. But we want to, you know, we consider ourselves an entertainment experience. And we just want to provide the best experience for our users, and security is a big part of that. Um, last question, IPO. Any plans on that at any point? I mean, I know you still got cash to spend, but would you consider that at some point? Yeah, I mean, the Brazilian market is growing so fast, you know, and, you, and it's we'll probably start seeing more success stories coming out of Brazil, especially in the public markets. And so, you know, it's, we, we're always excited about hearing new opportunities and seeing where we can take the company. At this point, we're just po focused on growth. So if you listed, you list in Brazil. You know, depends you know, on the situation back then. But, you know, NASDAQ, you also have a lot of Latin American companies listed in the NASDAQ as well. Right. Did you want to add to that? No, I mean, we're, okay. we're always evaluating opportunities. Uh, we feel very fortunate that it's been an exciting ride uh, so far, and uh, we're just looking to become bigger and better, and the ways in which we do that we'll figure out over time. Got it. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. Josh, awesome. Dan.